my leadership is more about sort of trying to first of all lead by example. Um, obviously, you know, have an incredible work ethic so that people can pick up from that. Uh, but also sort of give people enough rope to test them. It's been a long journey. I started in the investment banking industry as an analyst almost 20 years ago, right out of school. Um, you know, got thrown into it. And I did that uh, in New York for about 15 years. Having been born in Uganda, I started to think about, well, should I be thinking about doing something in the emerging markets? It's a very exciting time to be in Africa and in Uganda in particular, because I think the economies have really grown up and, and matured. Uh, requests we're getting from clients just are getting more and more complex each passing day. For example, we took one of the uh, utility companies public here. We then did a secondary offering only a few months ago for $100 million, largest uh, secondary offering in the country, very complex. Having lived in the diaspora, I know there's lots of individuals who have learned a lot of things in different sectors. And I think they have a huge impact when they come back home in terms of bringing back some of the best practices that they have witnessed out there. People coming back home can really add a lot of value. I want to encourage more people to do that. I don't think that there is anything that's impossible to achieve. So I've always thought that if you put your effort, put the time and the hard work into anything, you can achieve it. Again, the advantages of having started at the low level is that I was able to work with different kinds of leaders at different times of my career. I really think that if you do a fantastic job, you deliver, you're very thoughtful about your current job, and you excel at it, ultimately you're, going, you're heading in the right direction. And there's a lot of things that are going to happen to both Africa and my country, and I want to be a part of it.